Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Jen. I am bringing you today a vacuum cleaner review. I have owned the SIBO Dart now for about three months. I've been using it multiple times per week. And today I am going to tell you what I think about this very expensive, but very beautiful German vacuum cleaner. And I'm so glad that you're here. Okay, yes, I am kneeling down. <laughs> But that seemed like the easiest way for me to get next to the vacuum to really show you all of the features of this great machine. Now, let me give you a little bit of backstory. I have owned, I think, every vacuum out there. I have owned everything from the least expensive Hoover vacuum all the way up to the most expensive Dyson vacuum. And I have managed to murder each and every one of them. And it is for one very specific reason. His name is Max. He is a 120 pound Great Pyrenees. And before we had Max, we have had lots of Great Pyrenees. And that long white Great Pyrenees hair loves to kill vacuum cleaners. What happens is it gets bound up in the roller, it gets bound up in the hoses, it just can't handle it. And after breaking a Dyson, and I know some of you were like, seriously, Dyson is the best vacuum ever. Oh no, friend, we figured out a way to break a Dyson. I decided that I had one of two choices. I could buy a very inexpensive vacuum, which is what I have been doing the last few years, and when they died, just throw them away or I could go all the way up to the top of the line. And honestly, I didn't even know what the top of the line was because here in the United States, we only have access to a few brands. It isn't like uh, brands like Mill and uh, brands like SIBO, which is the one I'm showing you today. They're not American brands. We don't hear a lot about them. They don't sell them at Target. And so I just wasn't exposed to a whole different family of vacuum cleaners. I asked my oldest son, who loves to research things, to please look into the best vacuum cleaner. And that took us down the path towards the SIBO and particularly towards the SIBO Dart. Now, one thing I will tell you, is if you have mostly hardwood, this may not be the vacuum cleaner for you. Uh, for what I've heard, if you have mostly hardwood, a canister is a better way to go. We live in a home that was built in 1995. It is probably 85% carpet. So it's a large home with lots of carpet. I wish that were not the case. I would love to rip out all the carpet and do hardwood floors. That is not in the budget. Besides, it would be a huge mess. So for now, we are putting up with our carpet. And and so I knew I wanted an upright because a canister, for those of you that have a lot of carpet, a canister is just kind of a pain in the neck and an upright was the way that I wanted to go. And the first bit of research that my son unveiled for me is that really if you have anyone in your home with allergies or if you have pets, a bagged vacuum cleaner is a much better choice than a bagless vacuum cleaner and here's why. I've owned bagless for years, but evidently as you vacuum, the bag the bagless vacuums tend to spew out a whole bunch of dirt and allergens back into the air and a bagged vacuum tends to do that far less and in particular, the SIBO has been known to do that far less, and that is because of the bags that they use, but I will get into that in just a minute. So he looked at all of the different vacuum cleaners. We looked at everything from $1,000 vacuums on down, and he came up with the SIBO as being the brand I probably wanted, and in particular, the SIBO Dart being the best one for home use. Now, most of the reviews that you will find online for this vacuum are for people who are professional cleaners, which, I mean, you know, I clean my own house. It's a big house. A lot of people live here. So if you've got professional house cleaners, saying this is a great vacuum, I thought, you know what? Maybe this vacuum is the way to go for me. Last thing before I get into the specifications of the vacuum and why I love it so much, it is a little on the heavy side. So if you have mobility issues, this may not be the best vacuum for you. It does have all metal parts and it, it isn't, um, I can tell you the first thing I noticed is it did not glide across the floor as easily as my shark vacuum. Having said that, it works 
far more efficiently and I don't mind getting a little bit of a workout when I clean my house anyway, but definitely uh, I would not recommend it for someone who maybe has shoulder issues or who has trouble pushing you know, a regular vacuum. This might cause a few problems for you. All right, let's get started into the specifications of this beautiful vacuum cleaner. Okay, so here it is on the bottom and I will lift this up so that you can see this part right here. This is what it looks like. It has a five year warranty. Now, let me tell you, I have never had a vacuum cleaner get to five years. Not once. I've been cleaning my own house for 31 years. I have never had a vacuum cleaner make it to five years. So the fact that it has a five year warranty, that meant a lot to me. Um, the other thing I loved is that this is a vacuum cleaner that can be repaired. A lot of the vacuums you buy today, they are plastic parts and when they break, they, you're just gonna throw it away. There's nothing you can do. The parts are not meant to be replaced. A lot of the reviews I saw here on YouTube were from vacuum repair people who said that this is a great vacuum because you can actually take it in, have a repair person work on it and get your vacuum back in good working order again. So you'll notice when you first look at it, it is very, very simple. There are not a lot of bells and whistles. There is one version of this that is one step up. Um, this one retails for $549. The one that is one step up, I believe it's called the Flex. This is the dart um, i believe it retails for about 650 dollars and there are a few more features it has a 180 degree swivel head which this one does not have and it has an onboard place for you to put your attachments which this one also does not have but that doesn't really bother me it only comes with a few onboard tools and i actually can't find one of them right now because it came with three but that is so on brand for me you would not believe <laughs> Losing parts to things is kind of my signature move, but it comes with this great one that can be used for upholstery or stairs. And then it's got, of course, the crevice tool. Now your hose just goes along the side. I'll show you that right here. Very, very simple. And it just pulls out. So there are no bells or whistles or anything fancy you have to do to pull the hose out. It's just right here. It's very long and it's very, um, uh, stretchy. So you can really get, you can get up in, uh, you can vacuum your blades of your ceiling fans and get your, uh, crown molding, all of those kinds of things. Well, not in some areas of my house, but where my height, my ceiling heights are regular, I can actually get up to my crown molding and you can really easily pull this out while the vacuum is running, which I love because I like to clean and just get it all done. Um, it also has, hold on, let me just put this back. And you'll notice you just kind of have to squeeze that little puppy back in there. It also has down here on the controls a one, two, three, and four. Now, most Americans, if you have kind of a medium pile carpet, you're gonna be on a four. Uh, when you go to do hardwoods, you're gonna wanna turn the brush off and you do that by pressing this little button right here and it will go to red and that does turn the brush off so it's great on hard floors as well. When I do it on tile, I don't bother turning the brush off but on my hardwoods, I definitely wanna turn that brush off because it will damage your hardwood floors. Now, the thing that you need to know if you wanna buy this vacuum cleaner, be very careful buying it on Amazon. I bought it through the SIBO website and I'm very happy that I did for several different reasons. Um, not the least of which, I was sure that I got the US version. Because this is made in Germany, there is a European version of this vacuum, there is a UK version of this vacuum, and there is an, an American version of this vacuum. And if you buy on Amazon, you could get tripped up and I accidentally had it in my cart and I realized I was buying the UK version. Well, guess what? The voltage is not right and my vacuum cleaner would not have worked in my American home. So make sure you're buying the American version. There's actually a SIBO.us. The other reason I would buy directly from SIBO and not through Amazon or a third party seller is because you, SIBO will honor the warranty and it's seamless. You don't have any extra things to fill out. They have, you know, they have records of your registration of when you purchased it and all of those kinds of things. So you don't have to worry about that. Now I want to show you the bag because a lot of people, I think, Especially um, a lot of Americans, we've been having bagless vacuums for such a long time that a bag kind of freaks us out. Don't let it freak you out. This is what the bag looks like. And this one I bought on Amazon. There's actually a couple of other companies that make them um, 
that are uh, like generic, which seem to be fine, but I prefer to buy the actual SIBO bags. This is what they look like. It is a very, very strong material. And I'm gonna open it up and show you what the bag looks like inside because I think that really does show how much it really captures. And then I'm gonna tell you about how it performs. So this is how you open it. It was very easy. See, I just snapped that open. And then you're gonna lift this up and you can just pull the bag right out. Now, I'm gonna show you. This is how full this is after using it for almost a month, okay? I will tell you that when I very, very first got it, these were filling up a lot quicker, but as my carpets have been getting cleaner, I'm finding it doesn't get filled quite as soon. It is definitely time to change out this bag. So you're just gonna snap it closed because you don't want any of that to get out into the environment and you're gonna throw that away. See how packed that is? And there is like no dirt or anything. Like the bag is white and nothing has gotten out of that bag and onto here. And then if you look here, inside the actual canister of the vacuum cleaner, you can see, I don't know if, how well y'all can see that, but there is no dirt or debris inside there. If you look at any of my other vacuum cleaners, there is so much gunk just inside the bag, all inside the inside of the vacuum cleaner. This puppy has not done that. And unfortunately, I can't really show you the contents of the bag, but the very first thing I noticed, cause I actually shined my little flashlight in there to look at the contents, was not only was it picking up dog hair, which I knew it would pick up that, but like these dark little granules. And I feel like it was picking up things that had been in my carpet for years. So I've been super, super impressed with how much the bag holds. Now I'm gonna show you the part of this vacuum cleaner that as an owner of a dog with very, very long hair, has changed my life. <laughs> and that is that the roller on this is removable. Now, before I go into this, if you are a person who has never had a roller tighten up on you because of dog hair, this is gonna gross you out. And you're gonna be like, how is that even a problem? Oh friend, it is a problem. If you have a dog with long hair, you know this problem. And I'm gonna show you. Now, I cleaned this about uh, three vacuums ago, so I'm gonna show you what the roller looks like. This is what it looks like, and I did just clean it, like I said, about three times ago, but three vacuums ago. But what happens is when you use this, the hair gets rolled around the roller, and I cannot tell you how many hours of my life I have spent on the floor with a pair of scissors cutting the gross dog hair so that this roller can move freely because that will burn out the motor of your vacuum cleaner. The SIBO Dart, now let's see if I can do this my son did it last time, and I don't know if I can figure out how to do it on my own. I need him to come back from college to, to show me how to do this. Okay, I found the button. <laughs> There's a little button that you press right here on the top, and you go like this, and you pull that forward. See what I just did? And that just pops right off, and watch. It's gonna blow your mind. This whole piece pulls right out. Ah! Now, that's gross. That's dog care. Sorry that you had to see that, but this is a vacuum cleaner review, by the way. So, you know, surely you know that. But what you can do is just take your scissor and just cut that right off, and you can make sure that this is always nice and clean. And I was able to actually pull this out and go do it in the kitchen and not be on the floor with a pair of scissors with a vacuum cleaner upside down trying to make that happen. I can't tell you. If you have a big dog, you understand what I'm talking about. Now, the trick is, can I figure out, can I remember how to do this? Because every time I do this, it, I do it a little bit differently. And one of these days, you guys, I'm going to get good at doing stuff. There it goes. Well, that was pretty easy. Did that, did that do it? Ah, ta-da! And it just pops right back into place. Game changer. I'm telling you, change your life. Okay, so the other feature of this vacuum cleaner that makes it really convenient, especially if you do stairs and draperies and upholstery and things like that, is there is a button that you press right here. And this is another one of those things I'm not really very good at yet. Look, it's like an air guitar. You could play it. No, not really. Um, there's a button that you press right here. Let me show you. Dun, da, da, da. Ta-da! She did it! And it actually pulls this part off. Oh, and I forgot to show you, as long as I've got this, I forgot to show you that there's actually a little trap door here as well, so that if you get a clog, you just open up that little door. Isn't that great? That's where your clog would be. Beautiful. Okay, so this part here actually can operate as a separate vacuum cleaner, 
just like so. So you can attach your attachments to it, you can use your hose, you can carry it up the stairs. It makes it a lot more convenient to do, like I say, stairs, upholstery, curtains, that sort of thing. I will tell you, I don't use that feature of it very often because I actually have a smaller vacuum cleaner that I use for that kind of thing, a little teeny handheld that's really convenient. But if that was something that you needed to do frequently, that's a really good feature and it just snaps right back into place. Now there is also a um, hardwood floor soft brush attachment you can buy that replaces this when you're doing primarily hardwood floors, but that is an extra expense and I opted not to do that. Whoops, that didn't get closed all the way. Ha, now it's closed all the way. Um, and I did just change the bag, by the way, just so you know how easy it is to change the bag. I'll put the price for the bags right here. I don't remember them being terribly expensive. Um, this is a, a pack of eight, uh, but yeah, I. You know, you think because you've had a bagless vacuum cleaner for so long that having a bag is a huge deal. It's really not that big of a deal. Okay, I'm gonna go back up top to where I'm not sitting on the floor and I'm gonna give you some final thoughts about this vacuum cleaner. So after a month, what do I think? I am noticing two significant things that have made me decide this is my favorite vacuum of all time. <laughs> Number one, my house is far less dusty. And I am assuming that that is because every time I vacuum, um, my shark was pushing stuff back out into the air. This is sucking it all back in and it is staying in there, okay? And then the other reason I am learning to love it is this house has older carpet. We definitely need to have the carpet replaced. We are not going to do it until our oldest dog um, is no longer with us. Again, those of you that have owned a lot of pets understand why it's just better. One less thing to worry about. But I have noticed my carpets look newer and they are staying clean so much longer. Like I'm at the point now where I don't think in between weekly vacuums, this carpet looks terrible, I need to vacuum. It is staying clean, which is telling me that this is doing a much better job of cleaning my carpets than any vacuum I've ever had. This is not a sponsored video. SIBO is not paying me. I'm not even giving you guys my Amazon affiliate link and it's because of the reasons I stated before. I wanna make sure you get the full warranty and I wanna make sure you're buying the US version of this vacuum cleaner. But if you have pets, if you vacuum a lot, if you have a large home, I think you would be very, very happy with this vacuum cleaner. And again, that five-year warranty just makes my heart sing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do a lot of random different kinds of reviews and talk about organization and home stuff and packing and travel. So if you like any of those topics, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you like these kinds of videos, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I hope you have a great day. I hope whatever you're doing, you're finding joy and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.